Hello, my name is Vajradhaka and I'm leading the course on mindfulness and creativity that is starting at Kazuri Centre in April. So I just wanted to say a few words by way of introduction to the course and start in a way with my impressions that have uh, arisen over many years of uh, living in a meditation retreat centre and having meditated myself regularly for more than 40 years. One of the things that I noticed when people come into a regular meditation practice or practice of mindfulness is that they start to get a much more whole and integrated sense of themselves and all the different parts of themselves start to work together much better. The thinking mind starts to be smoother, clearer and in a way more accurate. And also, uh, interestingly, that there is access to more subtle ways of thinking. You could even say intuitive thinking. Uh, thinking in, where it's not just purely logical, but there is still uh, thought involved. And another very interesting way that mindfulness and meditation stimulates a sense of wholeness is that it becomes clearer what your imagination is and how it can be used in a useful way uh, in your life and in your projects. So uh, in mindfulness generally and particularly on this course we'll be exercising the relationship between thought and imagination so they're not in opposition to each other but work together uh, in harmony. So another way that I've noticed people benefit over uh, time is that actually there's much more of a sense of being practical and doing what needs to be done. Interestingly, uh, because you wouldn't expect sitting and meditating to do that, but actually it does do that. It gives you a clear sense of what works, what doesn't work, uh, what is helpful, what isn't helpful, and in a way a clear motivation to be behind doing what works and what is helpful. Now, these are my impressions over years, both in terms of my own experience, but also in terms of watching many, many people come on retreat and doing courses. But interestingly, uh, over the last 10 years, there's been great developments in MRI color scanning of the brain. And they're confirming, in a way, what I have seen. Uh, I was very struck recently, there was a, a BBC reporter who did a sort of trial. He, uh, they scanned his brain before uh, doing a five-week uh, mindfulness and meditation course. And then he meditated doing these uh, methods and approaches regularly. And then at the end they scanned his brain again and showed the two pictures side by side. And they were really different noticeably different. And the researcher pointed out that the areas of, of his brain to do with uh, clarity of thinking and creativity were much more effective. They were more alive. There was more of it being accessed than before. So he had more capability to act on the spur of the moment, to think uh, in a sort of broader, more general way than just uh, very logically, as well as that. So he was very struck by that, and I was very struck by it as well. So, in a way, one uh, has quite a lot of uh, even scientific proof that this approach is very, very useful. Now, during this course, we're going to be working on the relationship between awareness, mindfulness, and entering into and stimulating all the facets of yourself that make you able to be more creative. So I hope you can join us.